Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. Here's a super quick video on how to fix an issue that I've had many people mention, but I could never figure it out because it never actually happened to me, that is, until now. Basically, the camera and the player movement is very jerky and inconsistent. It has to do with the official star assets, which I covered in another video. However, the issue is with the input system and not those specific assets. Unity has those official first and third person assets. I also use them in the third person shooter controller and the third person aiming controller. In those, I use the third person controller and I never encountered the issue. But lately I've been working with the first person controller to make some first person tutorial videos and especially with this one, I can definitely find the error. It causes some weird jittery movement. As I move the mouse really quickly, you can see that the game object stops randomly. I'm constantly moving the mouse and yet sometimes it just randomly stops moving. The same thing with the actual character movement, sometimes it just stops moving for a few frames. Now I never encountered this issue with the third person controller, but with the first person one it seems to happen constantly. Thankfully the fix for this is super simple. Since it happens with both the camera rotation and the player movement, it means that the issue is not really with the character code, but rather with the input system. Here the code for this controller is accessing the input system and calling read value to read both the movement and the mouse value. And importantly, this one is being called on every update. If I add a debug.log, we can see that even though I'm constantly moving the mouse, sometimes it still returns 0, 0. Again, this is being called on every update. And the issue is that by default, the input system does not actually update on every update. By default, it works on fixed update, which usually runs less often than the regular update. The solution is to go into edit and then project settings, then go down into the input system package, and over here, the very first one is the update mode. And as you can see, by default, it says process events in the fixed update. But if we click, we can see the other options. One of them is manually. So you can tell the input system manually when you want it to update. And the other one is process events on the dynamic update. So if you select this one and then we try it again. Now, even as I'm moving the mouse super quickly, everything is still nice and smooth. Same thing with the movement, it never stops. And looking in the console, it's constantly reading some values, so it never reads 0, 0. So now there's no jittery or jerky movement anywhere. On every single frame, the input system is pulling the input in order to read the input values and correctly use them. Okay, so that's really the super simple fix, just change when the input system updates. So if you're one of the people who had this issue with my third person shooter controller, then hopefully this video helps. Or if you're just using the input system in general, then now you know one specific thing about how that system works. And if you're seeing some weird behavior, then hopefully this video will show up on the search result. Now that I have this issue fixed and the first person controller is working correctly, stay tuned for some really interesting first person tutorial videos. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.